So Freenas has reached 11.2 RC1, or Release Candidate 1, and boy, they have uh, quashed a 173 bugs and added 12 features. So lots of bugs uh, here are pretty cool. Um, lots of lists. Everything from typos to boot environment list dates. Uh, there's a lot of little stuff, but these are all those details that you expect by the time it comes into release candidate. So it's looking really nice. Um, some of them where you didn't know what it was doing when it would be the best way to describe it. So it would not have proper UI updates to know like a progress bar and stuff like that. So they've fixed all kinds of little stuff and really brought this along. Uh, a couple of the feature updates uh, added EM and EMMC flash storage, uh, revised updates uh, page, added ID storage pages, added abil ability to specify jail root, really cool. Updated IO plugins. This is the big one we're gonna talk about here. Uh, add infinite scroll to entity table, move strings from tasks type section to into help text files, add clone ACL, CLI, that's kind of neat. So you're going to clone the ACLs from the command line. When you're doing some larger scale stuff, uh, command line sometimes becomes easier than GUI to do stuff like that. So nice they added that. Added ability to show mounts while jail is running. That was a bug I think I talked about before is it just wouldn't show them and you had to stop the jail um, and now you don't. So that's really cool. Uh, so interface wise, it looks much the same, um, but more polish put on it. So I, I've said this before, I really like it. Some people, um, as much as I am used to the old, one I've seen a lot of people say oh, I still like the old interface so I'm like I kind of like this better I mean it, it's pretty neat uh, I like the fact that I can just click on hard drives I can see status of things it tells me it's healthy I can jump right into reports I don't know why this isn't hyperlinked but at least the reports are uh, right to the storage pools but easy enough they're on the side here go to pools and away you go now something cool and I maybe I missed this in the last one um, but one, they've added uh, a nice consistency to the UI. I've seen this in different sections where you can control and customize the tabs uh, that show up here for each one. But this is what's kind of neat. I don't know when this got added, but you can do individual for self-encrypting hard drives. If they have that support, you can put the individual self-encrypting drive passwords for each drive in here. And I thought that's kind of neat. So it can add an extra layer. So instead of just relying on the OS encryption, you can also encrypt the drives and then use the OS encryption too. Uh, so now you've really, really got things encrypted. So, you know, you can't have too heavy of a tinfoil hat. You can double encrypt everything if you want. Uh, so that's kind of nice. Uh, most of the other stuff, it's very much the same, but more polish added to it so far as what I've seen. Now let's jump over to the plugins because that's where there are some changes. People have asked me, well, what about OwnCloud? What about NextCloud? How are those working? Um, they're gone. There is no um, NextCloud. Nope. OwnCloud. Uh, that's missing too. Not here. So uh, I'm guessing with the IO cage and the update to that, they just changed a few things, including uh, removing them because I was told by people that it were broken. I had not tried them uh, with the previous version. They were in here, but didn't work properly, I was told. Um, but apparently they are still not working properly because now they're removed. So I'm assuming this list and the updates to the plugins is a list of these are the plugins that currently work. So those are the ones that are available in here. I didn't try each one of the plugins. I did try Plex. Plex seems to be working perfectly fine. Uh, no issues there. The reports are looking a little bit nicer. So once again, it's all these little polishing updates because it's in release candidate now. So I'm, I'm assuming other than finding more little uh, bugs here and there that for the most part, this is interface is uh, release stable enough to say, this is what it's gonna look like. This is probably how the final product is going to go. And I, I really like how it works. I like the way you can just jump into the shell here. It, seems very snappy compared to the last time. So I think uh, some of the under the hood stuff they did just made this work a lot better. And overall, it's uh, we're still just sitting on my test bench, uh, but we're actually looking at probably building a second free NAS for the office. And when we build out this free NAS, we're probably gonna load, even though it's release candidates, we're just building a backup free NAS to uh, replicate everything for us. We're probably gonna run this on it. And so far, I really haven't had any problems with it. Uh, never done anything super extensive, mostly just dumping data and playing with the cloud backup. And I didn't try it since I did the new one yet, but I'm sure it still works. That was kind of cool that we, it does the encrypted cloud backup. That's a feature I'm really excited about. I know I've said that before with the other reviews, but hey, that's really cool. Having it pre-encrypt all the cloud backups so you can easily take your free NAS and without having to buy some third party software, you know, connect to somewhere like Backblaze who has really reasonably priced on their bucket storage tied to a Blackblaze account 
and sync all your free NAS off site to that. That's really nice. That's a nice feature on there. I did try something else because someone had mentioned that the authorized access was broken uh, in iSCSI. If you wanted to have encrypted iSCSI initiators, that seems to be perfectly fine now. Uh, that was in the bug list of things they fixed. So now you can add a password to your iSCSI without a problem. I, you can put it in here. Uh, I think the group ID was zero and it doesn't fail anymore with the password. It was a weird problem what it was doing. So I couldn't put that in here. So now it works and I can click save and it will do it. Actually, I got to put a password long enough. For those of you who don't know, and that may be, I'm going to be, I'll be doing some new videos soon, but for iSCSI, your password must be between 12 and 16 characters, not 11 and not 17. iSCSI has some very specific requirements for that. I'm going to do a separate video once this comes out, or maybe not, this isn't release candidate. Um, I'm going to start doing some new free NAS videos because I assume this is how it's going to look in the end. And maybe if I find some bugs, I will be reporting them as well. But so far, um, everything seems to work perfectly fine. I didn't try this, but I know in the bug list was some features for when you have to replace encrypted drives. Once again, I'll be doing some new videos coming up soon on all the processes. They're the same videos I did with the previous version of FreeNAS, but I'm only doing them because of the new UI. Uh, and I think they've made things a little bit more intuitive with this, so they're going to be a little bit easier to do. Uh, but that's it. Go ahead and download it if you're interested. Um, obviously, be careful, back it up because this is still release candidate. It's still in a beta phase, but we're out of the you know the regular beta into that release candidate so this is just the fine tuning so uh, pretty soon you know it's on the roadmap they're gonna have the release candidate and we'll go here and then uh, so far what i've seen with this i don't think i have any problems switching over my production system to this once it comes into full release because nothing nothing about it has struck me as anything i don't like i do like as well for those you don't know so as much as i like the reporting it still has and as far as i know this is all staying in of course in like the system overview with net data is still built in so they're keeping that up to date which is awesome because as much as i like the reporting that they have added and they made it look really nice it's still not net data net data is just really extensive which is why they integrated it in here uh but overall definitely uh happy with it and you know i'm i'm a big free nas fan as you know so uh look for uh updated videos coming soon of all the new features in here as i mean you know make tutorials and how to set up sharing in here and everything else and i probably will do a new getting started video uh based on this version i may wait till release candidate too so i know it's as stable as possible um or wait till it fully comes out all right thanks leave questions comments below Thanks for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and click the thumbs up. Leave us some feedback below to let us know any details, what you like and didn't like as well, because we love hearing the feedback. Or if you just want to say thanks, leave a comment. If you want to be notified of new videos as they come out, go ahead and hit the subscribe and the bell icon. That lets YouTube know that you're interested in notifications. Hopefully they send them, <laughs> as we've learned with YouTube. Anyways, if you want to contract us for consulting services, you go ahead and hit lawrencesystems.com and you can reach out to us for all the projects that we can do and help you. We work with a lot of uh, small businesses, IT companies, even some large companies, and you can farm different work out to us or just hire us as a consultant to help design your network. Also, if you want to help the channel in other ways, we have a Patreon. We have affiliate links. You'll find them in the description. You'll also find recommendations to other affiliate links and things you can sign up for on lawrencesystems.com. Once again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.